Hello my fellow mermaids and thank you for clicking on the video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm doing something called Athleisure Adventures and it's kind of my own spin on hauls and reviews. And not only do I show you the haul and review of fitness clothing, but I take it throughout my day so you can see how it holds up. We get into shenanigans, we review some products, see if it would be a good fit for you. So let's get this day started. Recently I hit up Victoria's Secret and I checked out their pink line. There's three items I will be showing you guys today from the haul and then two I will bring bringing throughout the day because I can't wear two pants at the same time. First off, I have the ultimate sports bra and leggings stretchy pants. That is what I'll be wearing throughout the day and seeing how it holds up. What I also got was their high-waisted yoga leggings, which is a bit more of a cottony feel. Both leggings are in an extra small and then the top is in a medium. I was gonna start off with a first initial review of the Ultimate Sports Bra and Ultimate Leggings. I like the sports bra. It is a really cute design. This marble look is definitely in with the rose gold and the mesh, so they kind of like hit all the athleisure looks with like the metallics and the marble and the mesh and we're like boom but it looks really cute there's no padding the mesh is a very similar mesh to lululemon so good job there the material is squishy here but there's no padding and this is actually incredibly stretchy so for a thin strap like this it actually sits quite nice so this is a very nice but more of a light support if you're a smaller cup size this is going to fit you really well it's not a compression feel but for my bigger chest ladies i can't see this having much support especially with the band the band's quite flimsy if you don't get the right size it's going to pop up and i can already tell it'll have a tendency to ride up but if you have anywhere from a to c cup you should be okay and i think you'll actually really dig this top it's got this racer back like so now pants though i'm some parts of them i really like but immediately putting them on i have a big regret and that is in the calf area you want it to like streamline and just your hug your calf and that will really elongate your legs this one just kind of I don't know if it was meant for people with longer calves, but it was just material sat there and just kind of bell like triangle shaped out. I don't even know how to describe it. You can see it just doesn't fit. And then they have those little holes in the bottom of the calf. And I think it looks kind of tacky and cheesy. And I know the crisscross pattern's in, but you don't need to put it in everything. I feel like they went with just too many in looks with like the over the knee high sock with the black and the marble. And it is cute, but you just don't have to put every single look into every single item. The waistband is a mid-rise, very similar to like a Lululemon two inch seam. There is no pocket, sadly, so ugh. Material is like a thin Luan material, very similar to the Victoria's Secret knockout pants. So the material, the black part, is definitely very, very cottony feel. I don't really like the bottoms of these. I really dig the top, really dig the bottom. Wish, just wish they had taken this part and that been the whole entire thing thing and just made the bottom black. That would have been sweet, but you know, it is what it is. Now for the high-waisted yoga leggings, I was actually pleasantly surprised. These are more of affordable leggings. They're only $50 and the fit and material is super comfy. They fit right to you, the perfect length that they're not too short, not too long. They have the pockets on the side. They have the nice high waist that really hunts you in, but these are definitely a lot more loungy. I will say that they're stretchy, they're cottony. They would be good for yoga in the sense of like, you're just doing a very low impact stretching. You wanted something comfy, perfect for that. I would not, not, not wear these for like a hot yoga. It's very like absorbing the sweat instead of sweat wicking, which is especially gray. Just, just, just bad things will happen. But the fit is very cute. It's very similar fit to either uh, All the Right Places from Lululemon, the knockout leggings from Victoria's Secret Sport. Honestly, if you wanted a very casual yoga pants for you know studying, lounging around the house, just going out, I would definitely recommend these. Or very low impact activities, you know, something you're gonna do at a very low heart rate. You're not sweating. You're just kind of stretching. It's not in a really hot room. You want something to keep you warm. These would be great for that. So I'm gonna take these bad boys out on a boat, see what kind of shenanigans we get in and how they hold up to everyday life. Our apartment building got a new barbecue and propane. We haven't had this for like a year, so barbecue, we are coming for you. I'm actually off to go work, and usually I just work at the school. Uh, work at school. But I don't know if you know, a lot of cities have what's called like collab workspaces, and it's pretty much you can rent out a desk or you kind of pay 
for a certain amount of hours and you can just go and work with other people that don't have a job and work for themselves or freelance or whatever, you don't have an office, you can go in there. Oh, no, no. Is there not? Okay, nothing's in here. Open, open, ah! Damn it. So let's go to seven. Seven isn't here. Semi lost. Just breathe, breathe. No idea where I'm going. Success. So I screwed up. You have to like apply for it ahead of time and, and then it's free. But uh, so I'm just gonna go like library, Starbucks. Really cool, cool place. All done. Now I'm off to go work out and I tested are these squat proof? Drum roll. Check. Good job, these are squat proof. So I'm gonna take them to the gym and see how they hold up in the working work out. Yeah. Bonus, it's been raining and kind of damp all day and these don't stick to you in a bad way, so that is good. Cause sometimes you'll get some yoga pants and leggings and you'll get them and they just get like moist and they stick to you. Like think of putting on a wet swimsuit, that kind of feel. These don't give me that. Good job, Victoria's Secret, good job. Parkour. Also, I will be training back today, so I'll show you guys my workout because first of all, I feel like training back. Second, I don't think I've done a back workout on here in four. Workout is all done. Sorry for the screaming kids in the background, but these pants held up. I'm very impressed, actually. If you're someone who wanted the Shapori Lou Lemon pants, like the kind of ink design, marble design, these are a great dub because unfortunately those are like $100. And if you're not a fan of the Lux Stream and you want a bit of a like thicker material, not so compression feel like the Lux Stream does in the Shapori, these are an awesome alternative. Unfortunately, I'm still not a fan of the bottom part, so I wish it was like all the way down like that. But it, maybe they'll come out with some other ones, and I know they have other designs with this marble esque ink splatter feel that's really in. So overall, I'm really impressed. They stayed up. I can feel because of the elastic, they might lose shape after a while. So they are a cheaper pant, but I can definitely see breaking down the dollar wares, but the bottom part is questionable. This though, downside is it is good if you want to accentuate your curves. Let me show why. Because the black part down here, that's very slimming versus this part, the white, really accentuates. So it really gives you that hourglass look and then like slims out the calf so if you really want to be like curvy licious which is nice for me someone who I uh, don't got a no curve so I'm, pr I'm pretty pretty happy about this but if you're someone who wants to like streamline your hips and your glutes and you want to make them look leaner and slimmer having a darker bottom and a lighter pattern top around here it's not going to do you much justice. I'm just being honest. So if you want to show off those curves, so if you want to embrace yourself and the curves you got, or if you got no curves and you want to look like curves, these pants, the design is good, it's good. Overall, the sports bra, oh, I'm not even like in my shot. 
<laughs> Overall, the sports bra is comfy, but it's not a compression, so it doesn't have a bunch of support. Definitely just a B cup and not for high impact activities. A lot more of like a comfy sports bra. Empty space. Well, I'm gonna rank the sports bra a six out of 10 and the leggings a seven out of 10. They're not the best, they're a bit more of affordable and they're a great dub for a specific design. Designs like this aren't gonna be in in a few months, so it's definitely saying you wanna go like cheaper in. It could be in, but it's not for sure, like a black or a gray that we know will always have its place in our workup wardrobe. So it's definitely something not to splurge on and it's good to get a bit of wear out of it. This will definitely be in all spring and summer, so you can get a lot of wears out of it, but then we might retire it for fall, so it is good for that. Overall, I'm happy. I like it. It's a cute design. It's comfortable. It's just not meant for high intensity activities and it has a bit of funky fit issues. Before I go, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of like information about something. I did show a lot about like my work. Well, not a lot. I just showed you me at work and I do get a lot of questions because I've been super blessed that I have been self-employed for the last year and a half. Now, I don't have a lot of qu answers always to people who want help because I'm still trying to figure it out myself, you know, freelancer, entrepreneur, whatever you want to call it. I'm still trying to figure out a lot, but my biggest thing I always tell people is find a mentor, find someone that can guide you, that's been through it, that has really seen a lot of success, and that is where I wish I would have asked for help at the beginning. And so if you are someone who wants to do like an online business, kind of start working for yourself, freelancing, or more specifically online coaching, my friend Brendan, this is not paid. You know, this is me, he just opened it up and I thought I'd let you guys know because I think it is a great opportunity for a lot of you guys. He's doing his own like mentorship coaching to help people build his online coaching. Now, if you don't know who he is, he is Brains for Brawn. He is awesome. He has a really good Instagram, very informative. He has blown up over the last year and working for himself and he really has it down pat so he is now actually going to be helping other online coaches start their businesses and I think it would be a great resource so I'm going to link down below he has a Facebook group there's no commitment you are not saying to sign up if you just want more information and some guidance from him you can join this Facebook group and then of course if you really like what you see you could probably hire him or have him as a mentor I just think this would be a great opportunity for any of you on here because I know a lot of you have left questions asking about becoming an online coach running your own online business I'm gonna put the link down below once again this is not paid nothing he's just a good friend and I know I get a lot of questions about it so I think that would be a great resource for you guys to check out so now I'm just dangling here like so Woo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. and I'm gonna sign off Thank you for tuning in, like always my fellow mermaids. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe. I try and bring you guys on adventures in my life and inspire you to move your body and most importantly, find fitness clothing that makes you feel good so you go on adventures because I'm just a girl in a pair of leggings trying to take on the world. And I love that you guys can be along. Whoa, what's going on there? I love that you guys can be along with me for the ride. So thank you for tuning in, like always. Actually, if you have any questions for me, it, not like this is not a QA, and a it is not informative, it's not meant to be, it's going to be like a more of a humorous video involving me eating a lot of hot wings, really painful hot wings, and answering questions. If you get my drift, comment down below any funny questions, it can be directly for me or literally a, like a trivia question, and you guys should be excited for Friday's video. Well, thank you for tuning in, like always, I'm Fellow Mermaid, this conclusion is going on way too long, love you all.